Well, well, well. Before we get into this video, which is going to involve putting me down, I would like to try to gain some sympathy from all of you by letting you know that this morning, for breakfast, I was served a container of what may have been extremely expired guacamole. So I, I dipped my can you my rich powers in the guacamole and it tasted weirder and weirder. It may have been itoli. You said it was spicy. <laughs> itoli or salmonella. I ate it, so there is a solid chance that I will not be making it through the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, why did you phrase it that you were served? I certainly, I didn't pick out rotten guacamole. Yes, you literally did. You said, give me that guacamole. I got it for you. You ate it. <laughs> I didn't tell you you were eating that for breakfast. Hannah and I are in a bit of a fight today. And so we thought we should talk about what happens when we fight. Nope. Okay, I'm freezing. I'm putting this on. Anyway. Should we speak generally about our fights and then... No, no. I think let's give this example so people know why we're in a fight. Okay. This is one of our most common questions, though. Like, what happens when we fight? Do yeah. I still help Shane? That's the main question. That's the main question. <laughs> yeah. Like, how does it work with caregiving yeah. and having to interact when you're in a fight? Yeah. And I, I think we should say we don't fight very often. No, we don't. And we get along in a way that when we do fight, they tend to end pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, we should be... Like, we're not actually in a fight right now, but I no. was just mad at you. Yeah, we, I mean, we had a pretty good... Like, the most normal type of fight we have is what happened today. Yes. And it's over by, like, an hour later, so... But let's delve deep into it, so you can try to tell us who you think is at fault. Not That is not the point <laughs> at all of this video. That is so far from the purpose of this video. Okay, so, our fight began about 20 minutes ago. We had been testing a new microphone for an hour before that. We set it all up. It's like a boom mic, you know, it has a big stand, and uh, we set it all up, unpacked everything. This has been something that we've been looking forward to. Yes. We've had some audio issues in the last few videos. Our mic is not performing the way we, we want We don't to. have a microphone. Don't lead them astray. We just use the built-in mic that's on our Canon camera, yeah. which is not what most vloggers do. We don't have a microphone, so we purchased one. So we got one, and we were like, perfect. Like, we're upgrading. Our audio is going to be crisp and clear. But we were like, let's test it yeah. before we record our video Thank today. Thank God we did. So we, we plugged it in. We talked for a few minutes. I think I think you're skipping past the part where I set it up for 20 minutes and it was extremely frustrating to set up. Yeah, all the like nuts and bolts. Too. Yeah, so I like built this microphone and I'm like, God, <laughs> Anna invented the microphone. <laughs> and we sit down, we film like a little five minute thing. We did a bunch of different levels, different positions. Uh, so we filmed that. Then you know I took the chip into our computer, uploaded it onto the computer, put it into our program. Tried to listen to it. There was no audio, just Nothing. like a buzz. Just a no audio. And although I know that you probably would enjoy a video where you couldn't hear our voices, mm. we thought maybe that the might get old after 12 minutes. Yeah. That was when it occurred to us that maybe we hadn't turned the mic on. So. And was that true? Yeah, we come back out here, look at it. Turns out there's an on switch. What sort of microphone has an on switch? What is it? What am I turning on? It's a microphone. I plugged it in. So we so. were like, ah, silly us. Yeah. So we turned it on and we set up again. We talk, we touch different levels. Yeah. And it takes the chip out, takes it to the computer, uploads. Yep. Nothing. Same buzz. Same So now we've been doing this for like half an hour. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I I give Shane the pamphlet, like the Come setup on, thing. Uh, oh. Drinking is something difficult for her. She's not she gonna she's so No, don't rub your wet beard on me. Hi. Good girl. Okay, so when we got this microphone, I popped it out of the package and that was it. It was fully formed, the cord was attached, like there was nothing to do. Yeah. So I hadn't read the 
the little pamphlet that came with it, which is why I didn't know to turn it on, right? Yeah. So after we turned it on and tried again, it still didn't work. And I was like, Shane, read the pamphlet. Like maybe there's another thing. Where, like, I don't understand the problem, but like there's nothing else that we can yeah. do. It's plugged in. I'm checking all the wires. He's reading the pamphlet. And in the pamphlet, it says to install the battery. So I'm like, what battery? It didn't come with a battery. And Shane's like, well, it has to have come with a battery. So we're like looking in the box. There's an empty spot in the packaging that like looks like maybe it could have had something. So we're like, oh my God, they sent us a faulty microphone there's no battery in this microphone can you there is a hair yeah, hanging between my eyes thank you so then i'm reading the box and there's no mention of a battery being in the box you know it's like comes with microphone yeah. cord that's, that's it. it and so i'm like shane go to your amazon order and read the description does it come with a battery so the description does not say anything about a battery but as i began to read the reviews mm. which i did not do when i purchased Hmm. The, the microphone. Several people commented, alert, alert, no battery comes with this. You need to buy a 9 volt battery. So it's pretty obvious, had I taken the time to read, I don't know, the top three reviews, that we also needed to buy a battery for a microphone. Who buys something on Amazon without reading the reviews? <laughs> like only you. I literally don't know any other people that don't read the reviews. So. After, you know, this hour of trying to get it to work and then coming to the realization that it was my fault for buying not everything that you did not purchase. come to that realization. I said to him, you're never allowed to order on Amazon again. OK, I said it just like that. I was like, by the way, you're never allowed to order on Amazon again. And he was like, that is so unfair. Like, this is not my fault. All I this retaliated. Stuff. Yes, I just didn't say anything else. I left. I went and sat on the couch. I was like, OK, if it's not your fault. Whatever. And then... But now apparently he has come to the realization that it is his fault. I needed to use the bathroom. You know, it had been a long time uh, working on this <laughs> camera built up a pee in me. So, this is the central question yes. that people want to know. Like, when we are in a fight, a disagreement, mm -hmm. how do we handle it? And I think that the fact that I need help has allowed us to develop a lot of emotional maturity kind of like around this issue mm -hmm. so that when I do need help, I ask for it. Even when we're in a fight, Hannah continues to help me. She might roll her eyes. Yeah, you know, I don't do it very nicely. Although I think sometimes you do postpone. If it's a bad fight and you don't have to pee that badly, like you're not going to just be like, I don't really have to pee, but I'm going to ask anyway. That's true. Yeah. You know, but if you do have to pee, yeah, you'll definitely be, you'll say, you know, can you, can I pee? And I'll be like, I'll, I'll say nothing. I'll come over and I'll move his joystick. You'll and be like, yes, but I'm not happy about yeah, it. Yeah. I'll go into the bedroom, say nothing. I'll do it in a very sassy way. You know? What is that like for you? You know, like that, I think that's a kind of peculiar I know. Thing. Well, I enjoy making it very apparent that I'm still mad at you. <laughs> you know, it's like if if you're sitting down to dinner with me, yeah. or if you go to a restaurant together, right, and you've gotten into a fight on the way, you know, the whole time you're going to, like, make little remarks that show that you're still angry. I mean, you shouldn't, but sometimes you do. You want the other person to know that, like, they're not forgiven yet, right? So... Uh, I think it depends on the situation, um, but yeah, sometimes I'll I, I'll enjoy my silence and I'll just like that's almost even better than ignoring it completely is like helping you pee but doing it silently. <laughs> and I think that the fact that I need help even when we're you know having a fight often allows our fights to end earlier. Oh yeah. So like the fact that I'll ask her to help me use the bathroom will kind of open that door to talking again, mm -hmm. um, and then we usually get through it because we're like laughing, like all purposefully make jokes about like the PGR process or yeah. something to get Hannah like laughing, yeah. or we'll just straight up talk about the problem, and, yeah. you know, what the fight is. Exactly. It forces kind of closeness, mm -hmm. that forces communication, so. Yeah. It, it gets us through our fights faster. Definitely. I think it's very useful. If you uh, if you don't have caregiving in your relationship, try to find some way during a fight to uh, have to talk. Because it really does. It does help move the fights along. And we've never had like a fight that got so bad that like we didn't want to be near each other yeah. for like overnight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hannah's been like, you know, what would I ever do if like 
you know, we were so mad that I wanted you to sleep on the couch. <laughs> yeah. But we couldn't really do that very easily. I know, that's never happened. There was one fight that we had a long time ago that I remember you were already in bed when we had the <laughs> fight, so I left and I went out and sat in the living room <laughs> for like 15 minutes and like cooled down and then I went to bed and we didn't talk until the morning. That's true. Uh, but that is the only time that it's ever been like a nighttime you know, yeah. sleep scenario thing. Yeah. And I think people, I feel like some people are going to comment and be like, never go to bed angry. And I don't, I don't agree with that rule. I think <sighs> it can be useful to not have discussions yeah. at 11 PM when yeah. you're tired and in a fight, like there's no reason that you need to resolve whatever conflict yeah. is happening. I don't really get why you would be like, why that would be the cutoff. Yeah. No. What about like never eat breakfast angry? Like why? Like, I just don't understand why that's like so arbitrarily decided. I think overall though, there is, Hannah doesn't feel like, you know, like she can't be angry with me oh, yeah. because of my care. Like we still have arguments. We still have disagreements. We just work through them and then, you know, do my care angrily if, uh, <laughs> And it goes the other way, like, if I'm mad at Hannah, you know, I could, you know, go play video games, do something that I can do on my own, and not, like, get a drink if I want a drink. Mm -hmm. But I'll just be like, Hannah, can you please get me a drink? Like, I'll just do that a little bit annoyed. <laughs> uh, but my care does not prohibit us from fighting. Yeah. Thank God. But it does but help us make up. Yeah, I think that's the overarching thing, is that we fight, but I think... Caregiving definitely helps us make up quicker. Mm -hmm. But we do like, I like to put a little bit of sass into, you know, putting Shane's drink down a little more sassily if I'm angry. And then I'll, I'll look at her <laughs> to let her know that I know <laughs> that she was doing it angrily. I'll glare at her while she hands it to me. And then, thank you. I say thank you angrily. And I'll just say nothing. I'll just walk away. It'll just go, yeah, hmm. So now you know everything about the fights that we have. Thankfully, this is not a big deal. We don't fight very often. True. Um, and the fights that we do have are pretty minimal. Like when someone forgets to buy a battery for the microphone that requires batteries. And yeah. then you spend all morning trying to make it work without a battery. <laughs> all right. That's the end. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to let us know if you think it was Shane's fault for the Amazon purchase. Don't forget to subscribe. We never say that. What are you doing? I don't know. I hate that. Like, <laughs> like. No, ew, I hate that. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.